Welcome to the NORCAT Underground Center. There is no other operating mine facility like this anywhere in the world. Where state-of-the-art technology runs deep. We have innovative drilling technology. New lightweight vibration control drilling. Autonomous drone technology to do real-time 3D scanning of the underground drifts. That's right, drones underground. So the special thing about this drone, what it allows us to do is create 3D maps of inaccessible areas. So hard lines in today. For NORCAT CEO Don Duval, it doesn't get any better than this. I love innovation, I love technology, I love to know what's next. That's what this place is all about. It's an underground test lab. A physical place where companies can come, develop, test and showcase innovative technologies to serve the mining industry. Today, they're testing a specially modified scoop tram. It's a common mining machine that usually comes with an operator. They're going to try to run this one remotely and autonomously. Right now I'm setting up the uh, 3D LiDAR. This takes a 3D scan of the drift and compares it to a uh, point cloud mesh that we've made previously. LiDAR is a very sophisticated scanning system so you know where you are but also the contour, the height relative to where the vehicle is in the underground mine. That's important when you're talking about big machines moving in the dark. So now that we've got everything set up, we're going to head inside and uh, hopefully operate the vehicle via remote control as well as operate it autonomously. All right, yep, we're good to go. Today, Jim is the operator. The operator of the vehicle is only 500 meters away, but in reality, that operator could be thousands of miles away on the other side of the world. The first thing he does is fire up the vehicle. We're missing one sensor right now, so just gonna let it come up. Yeah, it's not running. This is not how it should be running right now. <laughs> At one point, there was a bit of a problem, a software glitch. But within, you know, 15, 20 minutes, they figured out the issue, resolved it, and now we're ready to go. I think it's okay right now. Now, time for the test. Jim starts by driving it remotely. So once I have my direction selected, we can go ahead and operate the scoop tram manually. It is important to make sure the, the screw tram is mechanically fit, it's operating correctly, before we go into an autonomous control. Then he switches to autonomous. Now it's happening hands-free. So right now it's proceeding down the drift, everything looks okay. It is maintaining a pretty precise distance to the center of the drift right now. At that moment it was operating by itself, demonstrating that the autonomous vehicle operation worked perfectly. The vehicle went autonomously down the middle of the mine, right to where it was going to pick up the blast rock. The tram is now at the end of the tunnel. There's the face, there's the muck pile. We just arrived at the destination. Alarm goes off to alert the operator. It is now in his control, so I have full manual control again. Jim's job now, pick up some blast rock. I'm gonna attempt to retrieve a bucket out of the pile. <laughs> this is the finesse part. So you're using cameras, relying upon the camera technology to really understand do you have a full scoop? It takes a while to get used to. Once again, Jim shifts back into autonomous mode. This time, the tram takes itself back down the tunnel so it can dump the rock to be processed. The test went perfect. It works. We've gone through the entire mining process. It's operated autonomously for a portion of it. We bought the blast rock out. Off to be refined. Mining can be dangerous, and new, emerging, innovative technologies can make it safer. And where we go from here, it's boundless. The ability to use this technology to actually mine on the moon, on Mars, on other planets, this, this technology will enable that down the road. That's the future of mining.